everyone. Um, I'm just going to go through and uh, show you my FPV system and how I got it running and uh, some a few updates on what I've done lately. So uh, here we go. Uh, to start off, I've got a uh, 900 megahertz, 800 milliwatt um, transmitter for the video. Uh, for the camera, it's just a, a Hobby King board camera that comes with all their kits. Um, the uh, sorry, I should mention this. The uh, transmitter and uh, the receiver over here; those are both uh, the Hobby King 900 megahertz, 800 milliwatt kit, and so is this uh, camera. But the lens on this camera, I uh, switched it out for a uh, wider angle lens. Uh, I just prefer that. And uh, let's see over here. I've got a. Um, patch antenna that I built a few days ago. Uh, I think it's like 8 dBi or something. I built it uh, via IB Crazy's instructions and uh, it was really easy to build and it works perfectly. Um, so if you guys haven't checked that out, make sure you check that out if you're looking for a good antenna. Uh, I got just have a 2200 milliamp 3 cell powering my um, uh, receiver over here and then this just goes to RCA connectors over to my uh, box which has my DVD player in it that uh, I watch to fly and um, up here I just keep my batteries uh, to control the plane I'm using 2.4 gigahertz currently uh, I plan on Hopefully, getting uh, like Dragon Link or Chain Link or something, some sort of UHF to control it in the future so I can get more range. But uh, my 2.4 link is working out pretty good right now. I just have a uh, remote receiver up here on the wing, and then the main receiver of the plane is down below. It's an AR8000. Um, there's the telemetry module. And then the, the telemetry antenna goes out there. And so everything's kind of in there. It's got some ferrite cores around it. For telemetry, I've just got a voltage of the main battery pack. And then it shows the receiver voltage. Oops. And uh, then it'll sh it's got a flight log data, so it's got the frames that are lost and then any holds that happen and I have it so it warns me whenever that happens so uh, I can kinda tell when I'm going out of range with the plane which is really handy because uh, you just don't wanna all of a sudden lose range so I can kinda tell when it's starting to go so I can correct it or turn around and come back so that's really handy uh, this is my third FPV pl platform this is currently the uh, RC test flight uh, micro drone. Um, I added some things to it. I added some winglets on the tail and out on the edge so it could handle a little bit more weight because I've done some mods up here. As you can see I have a uh, tilt servo. No pan, just tilt, but uh, I can show you how that works. Um, I just, I can have it either, let's see, it's getting the light here. I can get it on the knob that's on the knob of the DX8 and I can just adjust it with my finger or I can do uh, just with a switch and I have it set up for both so I can kind of trim it with the knob and do a quick look down with the switch so I, I use both both work out really well I like I like the tilt um, Today I actually achieved a uh, pretty good milestone um, in FPV. I actually achieved, uh, broke the mile, the mile mark, um, 1.08 miles. There's my house. You can see with the thing. I flew all the way down to that tree line, and that turns out to be 1.8 miles. 
So uh, it's a pretty big achievement for me, especially on 2.4. I was starting to, you know, lose some frames as I was getting over that far, but my video link is was completely, completely solid. Uh, absolutely no glitches. Um, I actually yesterday I received a, a saw filter, like a upgradable one or whatever. Um, you can check out rcexplorer.se's um, build along thing on that where you upgrade the uh, saw filter in the receiver and it'll increase your range by uh, 3 dBi which is basically like doubling your transmitter power so I did that and and it just works perfectly yeah, it worked fine before but now it's just completely solid and uh, wasn't that hard of a modification but I did it anyway and it was it works perfectly uh, for the motor on here I just have it I have a blue wonder I think it's uh, 1500 kV and it's got a 9 inch prop which is actually too big for that motor so you have to avoid I have to avoid open throttle but I usually don't get over half anyway um, for cruising speed so usually cruising speed is about half and that it still climbs at that rate so it's it works fine um, servos HXT 900 uh, 9 gram servos uh, the trusty HXT's always work perfectly um, the 20 amp uh, ESC so but that's about it this is all made the wing is made from uh, Elmer's foam board and uh, so is the tail <coughs> and the, the fuselage is made from a uh, uh, half inch foam and then on the sides is quarter inch uh, just Home Depot foam both of them so uh, that is my FPV setup that I'm using currently hope to be upgrading it soon um, I'm in the makings of upgrading um, or just maybe getting a more another receiver and stuff and doing a uh, second plane here but here it is uh, I, this plane should be probably it'll probably be a twin I don't know I think it's got like a 70 or 80 inch wingspan something like that but it's all uh, you can see it's foiled and everything and it's got a big tail got you look at my hand up against it it's it's pretty big so um tails like a foot tall or something like that and this is let's see i'll put it up against the wing this is probably like the fuselage is probably oh 50 inches something like that 60 maybe but that'll be sweet uh, i don't know if i'll have ailerons on that but i probably will but that's my fpv setup for right now um, subscribe and thanks for watching.